watching the game. He struck him out. That's a third strikeout in a row for Maddox. Now, what can you say about this guy? He's one of the greatest pitchers in the history of baseball. Hall of Famer, four Cy Youngs, eight All-Star games, and now Greg Maddox is participating in a celebrity golf event with other former Cubs. Uh, Greg Maddox joins us this morning. Good morning, Greg. Morning. Thanks for having me. Thank you uh, for being here. I'm just I'm looking at what you're up to, and I will say a lot of the things you're doing are, are for good causes and for charity too. But I see you, you're golfing, you're you're doing poker. It's all with former players, and you're. But man, you are living your best life, aren't you? Uh, yeah, just having fun. You know, it's always nice to be able to uh, raise money for charities and uh, have fun while you're doing it. So uh, I'm happy to do it. I uh, appreciate all the guys coming out to my poker tournament and here and. Uh, Dallas at the golf tournament. We're all having fun, and uh, hopefully, we're doing good things for some good people. So, the celebrity, I think I've read there's 70 celebrities, and there's a lot of former athletes. Which of these guys can really play, and who, who's out there hacking it? Geez, they're all pretty good. I mean, uh, Marty Fish is pretty good. Ashley Smoltzy can play. Uh, Derek Lowe hits it good. Uh, but, you know, it's a lot of fun. You know, we're out there. It's kind of like uh, it's like our fantasy camp. You know, we get a chance to go out there and play golf with the guys that we watched in the clubhouse back in the 90s. So uh, uh, I know today I get the opportunity to play with Steve Flesh. I'm looking forward to that and uh, had a little uh, lunch talk yesterday with Corey Pavin. So, uh, you know, anytime you get a chance to talk to a U.S. Open winner, it's pretty cool. I think you kind of undersold a little bit how good uh, Smoltz was. Uh, and, you know, the story goes, when you guys all played together, you, Glavin, and, and him, like you guys were the, were the threesome that went out and golfed as, as much as you could, reasonably so. Uh, tell me about that and how many, how many courses you, you got to play and how Smoltz was the ringleader of this whole thing. Well, you know, Smoltz, like, you know, I always say Smoltz, he's a pretty good pitcher. You know, he, he pitched pretty good, but, man, he was an outstanding golf coordinator. I mean, he had, uh, he had everything set up. He had... Uh, Whatever city we were going to, he was calling 10 days in advance, setting up tee times, and he had the rental cars or the member's name if, 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 if we needed that, and uh, uh, he made it easy on us. You know, he would just look at us after the game about, you know, 10, 11 o'clock at night and say, be in the lobby at 7 a.m., and we'd show up at 7 a.m., We, you know, he had everything set for golf that day, so... Uh, you know, Bobby Cox was awesome, too. He kind of encouraged it. He kind of wanted us out of the rooms and, and, you know, out of the bars, out of the rooms. And and uh, that chemistry stuff, you know, we got along well together. So it was uh, it was a good time. Didn't you have to take a helicopter to a course once? Is that a true story? <laughs> yeah, that was one another. Yeah, that was one of Smoltz's gigs, too. We were in spring training and uh, uh, we were in Orlando. We had to play in Fort Lauderdale. And, and Smoltz's like, hey, you want to play in this golf tournament? I said, Johnny, we got a workout this morning. There's no way we're going to get there. And, of course, Smoltz goes, you know, hey, I got it handled. So, you know, he had a buddy with a helicopter, and uh, we were able to make it on time. Hey, let me talk to you about baseball real quick. You see so, so many of these guys now going down with these elbow injuries and arm injuries, and, and some, some guys saying, oh, maybe it's, maybe it's the, uh, the pitch clock. Why do you think that is that, that so many guys are getting hurt? like they are yeah it's definitely not the pitch clock i can i can say that yeah uh you know it, it's it's max velocity you know it's uh the, everybody's chasing you know max velocity they're chasing spin rates uh uh there's there's a lot of emphasis on on how hard i can throw it as opposed to where i should throw it so you know it's a little different in our day uh we try to get hitters out and we weren't afraid of of weak contact and uh you know, now they're chasing the swing and the miss, and, and everything's max effort. So, uh, you know, your chances of injury, I think, go way up just because of that. And also, uh, you know, the people now, they always played year-round. Yeah. I mean, we grew up, yeah. we played other sports. We played basketball and, and football during, during all the seasons. And, uh, you know, we only played baseball for, for, for like four months a year. And, yeah. you know, now they're playing year-round, and that's, you know, adds up to be a lot of throws by the time you're 22, 23 years old. Yeah. Greg, I could talk baseball uh, to you all day, but we get four minutes. Thank you. Uh, thanks so much. Really appreciate your time. The Invited all Celebrity right, thanks Classic. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it starts this Friday. You can watch it live on the Golf Channel. Uh, if you're out there, uh, I think it's free. You can also find more information at invitedcelebrityclassic.com or follow them on social media.